Thank, thank you, you Heavenly Lord. Father, for all that you are doing. Thank, thank you, you for this ministry. Thank you for manifesting your hands. Thank you for everyone that has been connecting. Thank you for the testimony thank you have been sharing. Thank you, Father. Thank Lord, you, Lord. thank you because this ministry and mission is moving forward and the gates thank of prevail over them. Lord, we bless your holy name. Be exalted in Jesus' name. Amen. We are here tonight. Is there any blessing? Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Lord, that you strengthen our mortal body. Oh God. Renew our yes, mind. To be able to receive your Amen. Amen. Cleanse our heart. Give us a new heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, tonight, Amen. Amen. that which only you can do. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Faithful God. Oh, faithful God. Faithful God, oh faithful God, only you deserve the glory in my life. Only you deserve the glory oh faithful God. Faithful God, oh faithful God, faithful God, oh faithful God, only you deserve the glory in my life. Only you deserve the glory, you faithful God. Faithful God, oh faithful God. Faithful God, oh faithful God. Only you deserve the glory in my life. Only you deserve the glory in God. In our lives. Faithful God, oh faithful God, oh, faithful. you stood by me when no one else mm-hmm. Only oh, you deserve the glory in my life. Only you deserve the glory. Mighty man in battle, oh faithful God. I am that I am, oh faithful God. Only you deserve the glory. Only you deserve the glory. Faithful God. Faithful God. Faithful God. Faithful God, faithful God, oh, faithful God, only you 
you deserve the glory in my life. Only you deserve the glory. Oh, thank you, God. I will I rewire your key, your cardboard. Oh, back. Oh, no, go to Lord. I I rewire your key of castle. All back, all to I rewire your Oh, 
Oh, Lord, Papa, 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good evening to us from Nigeria. Afternoon to them in America. Afternoon to them in UK or evening to yes, evening and Ireland. Good evening to us from different part of the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we go to the Lord, our Father, Amen. in prayer? I want us all to thank God for waking us to another Father, day. Thank you for another day. Thank you for bringing us to the Many that saw you yesterday at the land of the silent Bless you for your goodness, your kindness and mercy. That you have planned your blessing for us. And you, oh God, you are ready to do what you said you do. Baba, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and adoration. We thank you for your mighty and holy. We thank you for today. Open your mouth and thank God. Father, we thank you for the greatness of your power. Father, we thank you for your power. Your excellence, Father, we give all the glory. There's no like you, Father. There's no like you, There is no like you, Lord. You are for so you are good and for your mission to be blessed Bless the Lord. Oh we reference you. We lift up your name above Lord, the Lord, other name. Thank you, Father, because you are the Almighty Father. Thank, thank you for your thank you. Father, we thank you for your Jesus Christ. 
Father, we thank you for the blessing of the We thank you for the reason of gathering together again. Father, we thank you for your love kindness in our life. Father, we thank you for the Father, we thank you for your freely love and your wonderful people. Father, Lord, the King of Glory, thank you for your righteousness upon our life. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to do, we're going to talk to God to give us grace to serve Him acceptably. Grace to live holy life. Grace to live righteous life within and without us. Because no sinner will make heaven, but only the saints. Therefore, it be ye perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Let's ask for grace to live transparent holy life in this wicked and perverse world that we call upon God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus you see, let us come bold to the, to the throne of grace so that we can have mercy to find grace to help us find the means. So we ask for the Jesus name we pray. Amen. Let's plead the blood of Jesus upon ourselves because tonight is going to be a reconnect with the host of darkness. The Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist, even up to now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. We want to take a possessor possession, we want to take it by force. We want to take our inheritance and grab it from whoever is laying claim to it in that name of Jesus. Sprinkle the blood of Jesus for us to for yourself. Lord of Jesus, upon my name, in Jesus, upon my surroundings, in the name of Jesus, upon myself, upon my in the blood of Jesus, but it is true, Lord of Jesus, I the blood of Jesus, I my the blood of Jesus 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 my heart, my spirit, my heart, in the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, in the name of the work of my hands, in the name of Jesus, the blood 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 of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let us blow speaking of people on my behalf, on my behalf, and the behalf of the Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Shall work for me. Shall work for me. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood avail for me. The blood. The blood. In the name of Jesus. Father, let your blood avail for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Our everlasting Father, we magnify your good Father. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus.
Heavenly Father, we ask that you grant us understanding and access into the intelligence of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Generational covenant. Amen. 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 The Bible says, for this same reason, he manifested that he will destroy all the works of the enemy. I think the works of the enemy around us shall be destroyed. I pray tonight, all the works of the enemy shall be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
that we are going to exert uh, tonight. Division one to eight. Can somebody read to us? For us? Praise the Lord. 39 verse 1 to 8. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I read. At that time, at that time, at that time, Merudach Bal Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Ezekiah, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. And Ezekiah was glad of them and showed them to the house and showed them the house of his precious things the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment and all the owls of his armor and all that was found in his treasures there was nothing in his house nor in all his dominion that ezekiah showed them not then came isaiah the prophet unto king ezekiah and said unto him what said this man and from whence came they unto thee and Ezekiah said, They come from a far country unto me, even from Babylon. Then said he, What have they seen in thine house? And Ezekiah answered, All that is in my house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. Then said Ezekiah to then said Isaiah to Ezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord of hosts. Behold, the days come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store until, until this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. And of thy sons, that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away, and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Verse 8. Then said Ezekiah to Isaiah, Good is the word of the Lord, which thou hast spoken. He said, moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a generational problem. Ezekiah did something that was wrong in the feet of Rejoicing. When you are glad, watch what you say. When you are glad, watch what you say. When you are sad, watch your actions too. When you are sad, watch your actions. Here he was glad when he saw those visitors. And he did show some things in his kingdom. After he did that, Isaiah the prophet of God came. And he said, What did you show them? He said, I showed them this, I showed them this, I showed them this. He therefore told them. Because you show them this, all these things you show them, they will come and carry away into captivity. More so in the days of your children. It wasn't the children that fed them. But instead of Ezekiah to make a lamentation and cry to God, he said, Good is the verdict of God. Since it's not going to happen in his days. Whatever happened in the days of his children is of no importance to him. And after the death of Hezekiah, they came and carried them away to Babylon. The lot of problems that our fathers have eaten before we were born. Let me give us an instance. When I was in university in the ages at university,
there was much incest in Ilore at that time. Many ministers themselves were falling victim to incest. Incest is when the father begins to steal and have carnal knowledge of his daughter. Many Christians begin apprehensive because of this animal thing. And I remember our state of us here there was I did our work. And uh, he went to the Lord and prayed, what is the cause of this problem? God told him to go and ask for the fathers of the Lord in glory that the same originated from the father of the Lord. In his investigation, he discovered that the person that founded the Doris name was Ojo Ishekushe, Ojo that does evil, or Ojo that misbehaved. Then he inquired, what did you do? Normally, he slept with his wife, and the children that were daughters produced by that relationship he started sleeping with them too, which was an incest. After the man passed away, his children, children started sleeping with their own children as well. We took it up prayerfully in the Lord in the 80s, and God gave us victory. If we didn't inquire, if we didn't have a leader that there is a prophet who inquired why this problem. Many Christians don't remain Christians. You see them are forty three or five times. And father started sleeping with children, their daughters. The same thing happened in Christian doors. Many things are pulled up from generational youth. And some of us will just overlook them. God will not say the kingdom of heaven survive violence if they are not able to fight against. But tonight we are going to address those issues and ask God to reign the heavens and let the mountains go at his presence in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me tell you of another time. This one is in the Yoruba area, Ikare. History as it does. The, the world that founded the land where the, the land was growing used to perform sacrifices with human beings. And in that time, the, the people that are owners, they don't really make it like, unlike those who come as strangers to the land. Then one young lady invited his friend outside the arrest to come and do business in the town. That young lady became thinkingly rich. He had his friend that called her and had the people of the arrest according to history. Here yeah, came a time again, they want to do some sacrifices with human beings. His home gave him, gave her in, and told her that she is a stranger. I had it in history that that stranger was still a virgin, looking forward to the time she would get married. She did not misbehave, she did not allow anybody to touch her. He now arrested her with other people and sacrificed them to their death. But before she died, before she gave up the ghost, she wailed and said in anger, I came to your city, I became rich, I lavished the riches to your people or your people. My friend that brought me, I helped her with me. Is this how you will reward my good work? 
want to kill her when she's still a baby, and she's looking up to the time of her wedding. She now calls the land. She said from that day, the name of that town will be called the Kaure, enemy of great. That was where the word the Kaure emanated from. That their children will never make it in, in marriage. And that they will never remain long in the house of husbands. What the they will never prosper in any way they do. And many, many things, the product of courses, she range of that city. Asian city is Asian culture, Asian city is Asian tradition. We share the Lord of this person to life. But we call the land to be. And that's several times that people from the Kare come to see me for prayer. And God reminded me of the covenant that was on their land. Now, if you are from different, wherever you come from, how did, did you see any nation in Nigeria that are not able to work there in the 18th, 17th century? And a lot of blood were shed, and which invoked many, many causes on the land. But because people didn't pray very, very well, those generations that you is this lingering. Look at what Ezekiel says, it's not going to happen in this place. Oh, glory be to God. Many fathers have led crises for their children. And the children are wandering in the crisis market. But tonight, I want you to do the work. Let me share something my own family. I'm talking of an extended family that I came from in the book of Shemuel State. Uh, for my parents and their seniors, there was no one that went to give back to the first one that the first one did not die. And to the generation of mine, they were the same things that they had. So when I got with it 20 years ago, uh, God to me said, My son, there is a cause in your family. All my elders that married before me are my elders that married after I did my eldest. Some do not even have children. For those who had their first born died either in the house or at the hospital. God has told me, my son, you have to break the way. Or else you will be completing of that generation. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know how my, I don't know how my sister, my phone muted itself again. I said, my elder sister went to the hospital to give birth to her firstborn, and the firstborn they were twins died in the hospital. Mm. To let you know the generational cycle of evil that was prevailing at that time. God told me, he said, my son, pray against it so that you will not be victim of the same generational problem. I did pray and to the glory of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. all my children are alive. Amen. It was from my own days my elders that marry after my own and they have children everybody had their firstborn with them but it wasn't the same before our own time many 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 are different different grades of affliction that have been there planted before we were born 
but the Lord will deliver us from there. Amen. 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 And we go to First King chapter 21 and see what happened to here too. First King 21, verse 17 to 29. First King 21, verse 17 to 29. First King chapter 21, division 17 to 29. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read. First Kings 21, verse 17. And the yes. word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite, saying, Arise, go down and meet Ahab, king of Israel, which is in Samaria. The old is in the vineyard of Naboth, whither he is gone down to possess it. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Hast thou killed and also taken possession? And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, In the place where dogs lick the blood of Naboth, shall dogs lick thy blood, even mm. thine. And, e and Ahab said to Elijah, As thou found me, O mine enemy. And he answered, I have found thee, because thou hast sold thyself to walk evil in the sight of the Lord. Verse 21, Behold, I will bring evil upon thee, and will take away thy posterity, and will cut off from Ahab, him that pisses against the wall, and him that is shut up and left in Israel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We took will as well know that after the death of Saul, David took over the leadership. And there came a time David too decided to play with Bathsheba, Uriah's son, I mean Uriah's wife, Uriah's yeah, wife, and God had to send prophet Nathan to David. And in the pronouncement of Nathan, he did say that sword shall not depart from his house forever. Now, after so many years of death of David, it is still witness that Israel are still at war. It was as a result of what David did and the sin and the, uh, uh, the evil that has been there is still standing in spite of God forgiving David. If you come from Muslim family. I come from Catholic family. There is not much difference between Muslim and Catholic. I was preparing to go to major seminary when Jesus told me don't go. But a lot of evil that was happening in a Catholic household before I was born started rearing his head when we began, we began to grow uh, older than infancy. And me, I'm so keen and observant, and I saw that this can only be addressed prayerfully. As some of those things, I personally took it up in prayer before the yokes were broken. And I remember in Guarimpa Mountain, somebody came to meet me who had a Muslim background, and uh, I was praying with him. I held this palm, and we started praying. Lo and behold, as I was praying, I saw on his palm, Tira, just being written on all his palm, when a Muslim was not with him. They did some juju work behind him. But because I used the anointing that is heavier, all the things they wrote behind him somewhere and used like an incantation in the Islamic faith were now coming out in his hand, visible. And the man was shocked while we were praying. He said, man of God, how did this one enter my hand? I said, it entered your hand because God wants you to know things that have been there 
that you are ignorant of. Tonight, we want to pray and get to the root of many things we are suffering. Another one is who had a fear with you. Many people did not hold their body until their marriage. Even if the person that married you slept with you before you married, it brings some form of affliction to the people that the children suffer thereafter. The scriptures say marriage is honorable and the burden defiled. For one monger and adulterous God we judge. And I remember Jesus warned me severely. He said, my son, don't sleep with any woman before you marry. If you do it, a certain percentage of your glory will be gone. Hmm. And most people didn't know. You think it was in vain. Joseph was in the same house with Mary and they didn't touch each other. You think it was in vain. Elijah came to Shunammite woman, or widow of Zarephath rather, and he didn't touch that widow. If he did that, his prophecy concerning that widow will never stand. But today, most of us, some men and some women cannot count the number of men that are stayed upon them. A lady shared a testimony with me when she went for deliverance. They gave her book, a uh, no, uh, 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 questionnaire to fill. Uh, education. Yes. They now said they should write the number of men that are slept with her. She wrote 500 names. They thought she didn't know what she was doing. They said, woman, did you read what we said? He said, yes. That, yes. Ha. How did you see 500 of you? He said, in fact, that one is like a tithe of the number of people that stay with her. That is more than 12 times what she wrote down. And she wrote at least 500 names of men that are slept with her. Now, somebody will carry that third hand woman or fourth hand woman. A man. Amen. Somebody will marry that person who has okay. used her life with many men. Most of us, when we yeah. dodge it, sexual immorality, we don't know the implication. It brings causes down to our children and children's children. And peradventure, most of us did not ask for higher anointing to break the yokes. Look at Samson, whose uh, birth was announced by an angel. He was born in Nazareth, but he lost everything because of immorality, sinful practice. He lost the power, he lost the glory, he died a man unsung. Why? Even without any inheritance behind. No child to carry on with this thing. Such was a calamity that befell people that goes into immorality before their marriage. Even if the man you marry is the one that stay with you, you are not supposed to sleep together. Therefore, when Jesus warned me, I didn't touch any woman till I married. And I give him glory about it. But most of us that did it, it's like you have a knife that cut, your, cut part of your skin. It will definitely heal, but the scars remain there. The consequences of our sin stand and stare us in the face. But tonight we'll go before the Lord. My Lord and my Father, remember me in your mercy. Take away the yoke, take away generational causes. By reason of what I've done, we call immorality, we are, play, we say, we are making fun. You don't make fun with sin. You don't make fun with sin. It has grave consequences. You see, David was so smart. When Uriah came, he said he should go home and sleep in his family with his wife. Uriah was a man diligent, a military officer. Is that will I go and sleep in the house when my generals are on the battlefield? David knew that the moment he sleeps with his wife, he cannot feign ignorance of the pregnancy. He wants to put the pregnancy at the step of Uriah. When he heard that Uriah did not sleep there, he now wrote a letter Go and give it to Joab. Let them put you at the toughest part of the wall and withdraw armies from him so that he will die in the heat of battle. All these things that David did, Israelites are paying for it today. 
What are the things our father did? Some are warrior, they kill other people. But we think it's so natural that those blood will be like that. What can we say about Cain and Abel? Cain killed his brother. He thought it was all gone. He can go scot-free. My Lord said, the blood of Cain is crying out from the ground for revenge. How be it we have Jesus who has gone into the heavens? The Bible says his blood speak of better thing than that of Abel. He said, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Therefore, it's not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Lord that showeth mercy. And many of us have adopted children, but God is going to spare our life. We're going to tell Baba, re release me. Baba, de remove me from the list of those under your rod. In the name of Jesus, and set Father, me free from covenant name, that is standing Jesus. negative on my Lord, destiny. Remove my and name from the my children of those that are under your roof. Open your mouth and pray. My name, O oh Lord, from every negative covenant that is standing on my destiny for which my children will pay. In the mighty name of Jesus, Olua, Bani, look. In the name of Jesus, Lord, locate me in your mercy. In the name of Jesus, by reason of your mercy, O oh Lord, remove my name from the list of those who are under your wrath. In the mighty name of Jesus, on account of every immorality of the past, Father, Lord, remove my name from the list of those that are under your wrath. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove my name, O oh Lord. From the list of those that are under your roof, in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, Whosoever covereth his sin shall not prosper. Whosoever confesseth and forsaken shall not be mercy from the Lord. Makaili Marushka Puri Musidia. Mande Kaili Koba Shidia. Rekisbuna Bashidia. Lord, by your mercy, remove us from the generation by your mercy, remove us from generational conflict. What the people are and we are suffering now, Lord, deliver us, Lord. Lord, deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, deliver me from every foundation of the Lord of the Lord, the blood of the new and the new and the new and the new deliver me by the blood of Jesus that was shed for the remission of my sin. Baba, by reason of your mercy, Baba, 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 if you come from Catholic family like mine, we come from Anglican family, Lord, we come from Muslim family. Let's go to night, Lord, deliver me. That the Lord is in the valley of my generation. Lord, remove my name from the generation of the Lord. Of my generation, I do not trust the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I just need to call the Lord. Lord, deliver me. I come at my name from any part of my family, my family, my family, my family, my my family, my family, my my and one day God said, my son, I want to show you something and teach you something about purity. I was living in medical hostel at that time. 
and the medical hostel facility is better because there are not many. Their toilet is always good, everything. I wasn't a medical student, but I have friends in the medical hostel uh, after I left my own hostel. And I was pressed. I got to the toilet. I wanted to poo. They put heaps of excreta in that toilet, which was not a very, very abnormal. They used to wash that of the medical hostel very, very well clean. That day, I just saw plenty poo poo there. As I saw it, my own, I was pressed. Immediately, the, I, I didn't have any gods to go and poo poo again. My father said, Can't you use it? I said, I can't use it. He said, Why? I said, Look at it, the heap, heaps of excreta into the toilet. He said, My son. That is the same reason I will not use a sinner. That is the same reason I can't use any sinner. If you cannot use that toilet because of layers of excreta, I too cannot use a sinner for my work. Tell the whole world, I desire holiness of life. And that came out after some time they play, cleaned the place. He now told me, he said, when I want to bring out Jesus to the world, why didn't I use any other woman? I use a virgin, and I use a man that has never touched a woman. Mm. They were together, but they didn't sleep with each other. And I was privileged to have been in Jerusalem. I saw Joseph's house, and I saw Mary's house. And I saw when they got married, where they were living, I saw Jesus' room. And I saw something like a swimming pool in their house. They say Rabbi used to take purification, their wash uh, to clean themselves. And that shows the kind of piety of Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, if Jesus did, God did not use any woman to midwife the bed of Jesus. He used somebody that is pure. He used somebody that was a themselves. He used somebody that was a virgin. There is a reason. When you look at Old Testament, they said anyone that wants to marry should marry a virgin. And we don't know the reason why. Anytime you disvirgin a lady, you cut a, you break into, into a covenant. Break into a covenant. Why? They have a system in their body that is called hymen with a pouch of blood. And when a man enters for the first time, there will be a spill of the blood. That shows there is a covenant between that man and the lady it is virgin. It's not supposed to be done before your wedding. It's supposed to be done after you pay the bride price. And because sin was committed, the consequence of sin stared everyone on the faces. Tonight we're going to pray. And many, many other occultic things that our parents indulge in incision in the body, uh, tattoos in the body, and many, many things where you look at the scripture, you see that they are wrong. We want to pray this night, Baba, by the blood of sprinkling, the blood that speaks of better things than that of Abel. There is a voice of the blood of Jesus. Let it speak redemption. Let it speak healings for us. Let it get into Amen. the foundation of our, of our life and heal us Amen. completely. Amen. I want you to take Father, this prayer seriously in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let the Lord be with you. Lord, let the Lord be let us of Jesus let the blood of Jesus speak on my behalf. Let the blood of Jesus reach the foundation of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the power of the power of my life. 
in Jesus they will pray. Amen. Pastor, this day was privy to this when I was praying with a woman and I was in the convention I said, I saw some of them with cockroaches coming out of their body. I saw rats coming out of their body. Equally, somebody came from Lagos here. I saw lizard in his brain and I mm. prayed and a life lizard came out from his brain and was killed. There was another, the woman too, cockroaches fell from the body, rat came out from the body. I'm talking of what anointing of God can do. It's a demonic stronghold in her. And when that demon wants to come out, came in form of animals. We're going to pray this night, whatsoever is inside of me that is not of God. The Bible says, every plant that my heavenly father has not planted, not planted shall be rooted out. Tonight, everything that has constituted a stumbling block to my rising. To my career, to my professional calling, Lord, uproot them from the root. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, everything that is Lord, everything that is inside me, that my heavenly Father did not plant. Lord, I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come against everything that is in my body that my God has not planted. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I come to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Pastor, this way. Yes, sir. Shabi, you were there when I preached uh, at the convention. I mentioned the issue of rats. I was there, sir. I remember vividly. And when the rat came out, people were there. They saw it. The side of the yes. body that the rat came out from, the lady was a bit paralyzed on that side immediately. Mm. Mm. True or false? Very true, sir. That very, is to let people know that there are things in this life that if there is no anointing, people go to their grave or song. People die. I was with somebody when we went to a, a function and God pointed us on many graveyards. He said, my son, many glories are buried. Mm. They did not allow the glory to speak before they died. And that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. That will not be my portion in the Amen. name of Jesus. I speak as his oracle. Amen. So your glory will be liberated. Amen. Your glory will flourish like back to the Amen. riverside. Amen. Your glory will balloon Amen. and cover the hands of the earth. Your glory will speak Amen. in high places Amen. in that name of Jesus. Tell the Lord, Amen. it is time for me to shine. When it God wanted to show children to, to Abraham, he took him to a place where he can see stars. Star mm. being genius, shining people. Mm. God said, count it. He said, I cannot number it. God took him to the riverside. He said, you should count the number of sea, sea, sea sand. And you, you, you see the sand that are at the seashores. They are different from the sand you see in the normal places. They are shining the sand. sands. He said, count them. Abraham said, I cannot. He said, so shall your seed be. He carried glory. But if Jesus did not appear to him, at 75, his glory was not even speaking at all. He didn't even have any child at all. That is what happened. He came from a generation 
of idol worshiper. And that was the reason why Gideon asked to go and demolish the fetish idol in his father's house. You want to pray, Lord, every idol that is speaking evil and lies over my destiny. Lord, devastate them tonight. Free me from all the yokes. Some people will sleep, you will see demon having sex with them. Some people will sleep, they will be eating eating bone. They will be eating uh, meat in the dream. And when they woke up in the day from the bed, they will see bones of the food they ate in the dream. Physically at their bed post is to let you know that it's not only spiritual, it is also physical. A lady came from one big bank there, but the bank is the fox now. Came to see me in Lagos. And as I was preaching, I was praying to her. I said, you have spirit husband roving around you. She said, no, I was okay. And I told her, I said, God told me that this is what you experience. Whenever you get to the house from the bank operation that day, your husband said he wants to play with you. You say, no, you are tired. She said she always remembers. She will leave the bedroom and go to the other visitor's room and lock herself up in the visitor's room, away from the husband. In the midnight, a personality will come and have a fear with her and drop the semen at the uh, entrance of her private region. Whereas the husband was not there, when she wake up in the morning, she will go to the husband's room and question is, are you the one that came to sleep with me? Say, ah, you lock the door and you put the key there. How will I open it? And that is to let you know that there are many spiritual things that happen on the face of the earth. But tonight, God said he wants to break the power. Amen. God wants to see the power. When all those things happen, it eats into businesses of people. It eats into their lifestyle. Like in Jericho, 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 18 to 22. Can we read it? We will see that Jericho suffers some problem and it bounced back to the people in Jericho. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 18 to 22. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I read 2 Kings 2. Verse 18, and when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Did I not say unto you, Go not? And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant as my Lord seeth, but the water is not, and the ground barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise. Can you see what has happened in Jericho that has to do with water and land? has his effect on the destiny of the people that lives in Jericho. Go ahead, sir. And he said, bring me a new cruise and put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there and said, thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the waters were healed unto this day, according to the saying of Elisha, which is fake. Now, Praise the Lord. It, it has effect, hallelujah, on the water and on the land. But the people told them that the situation is affecting them. They drink water that was barren, they cultivate on the land that is dead until when Elisha the prophet stood up. How did Jericho enter into that crisis? You remember when they fought in the days of Joshua? He placed a curse on anybody that wants to build the wall of Jericho again. And El tried it, and Jericho came under curse. For that years that run into thousands of years, the people of Jericho were there. Let me give you another instance, Genesis 49. Division one and two. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Verse one. We, I will know the name of the person reading. Are they joy? Okay, okay, you're welcome. Thank you, sir. So that others we know those who are reading for us. Yes, Some sir. of them are known pastor. I just say so that's why you He's taking oh. that liberty not to introduce himself. 
Okay. I read in Jesus' name. Okay, amen. amen. Verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Verse 2. Gather yourselves together and hear, ye sons of Jacob, and hearken unto Israel, your father. Amen. The next verse. Verse 3. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Verse yes. 4. Unstable as water, thou can shalt see, not excel. Now, can you see causes by reason of what Reuben did? He went into illicit love with his father's wife, where the father was cultivated is where is a uh, rebel to want to cultivate and most of us have done things like that in time past and we think it's normal go ahead ma verse 4 unstable as water thou shalt not excel because thou wentest up to thy father's bed then defilest thou it he went up to my couch praise god it, 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 God did not say they shouldn't marry anyone they want to marry. Why should he be his father's wife that he too will be sleeping with? Because of that, look at all the five qualities that work for Reuben alone. The, the, he was the firstborn, the excellency of power, the excellency of dignity, this and that, almost five qualities that none of the children again can lay claim to. But he used joy to destroy that pedestal. He went to the wife of his father and the Bible say he defiled the bed. If he has gone to look for his own uh, flower, like some of my colleagues when we are at university, they will be praying, oh Lord, give me flower. Oh Lord, give me flower. I look at one sister one day, I say, ah, now flower you won't marry. He say, yes. Ah, you didn't see rose periwinkle around you in the house. You didn't see a viscous flower. Why are you using metaphor for God? I need wife. Is there a need wife? Which one is flower again? Say, oh, if God give you pride of Barbados, take it to because my flower you are looking for. God, I need husband. God, I need wife. Don't use metaphor. Don't use simile for God. Now, Reuben went there and it took many years before that yoke was reversed. It was Moses that came and said, let Reuben live. Let his children not be few. Look at years that Reuben has been under cause. His children, children came under cause because of sleeping with his father's wife. Equally, when we talk of Ge Ge Geazi, Geazi was a servant of Elisha. Elisha said, don't collect money. Don't collect this thing. He said, he has had. As soon as the man went, he followed him. He said, Baba just got a visit. I said, make I come, make I collect that the way he didn't want to collect. And let me tell you, except the prophet is not sound, he will see many secret things that many church members will not know that he sees. As he was collecting the money, the Elijah, Elisha was following him in the realm of the spirit. And when he collected the loot, he went and hid it and came. Elisha said, where have you been? Say so just went and said, hey, is my eye not following you? Where you follow that person? Geazi, L -A -A, what's his name? This guy. The, the, the captain, yes. Neyman. Neyman. Neyman was the only one that has that leprosy. In the anger of Elisha, he said, may the leprosy of Neyman sting to you and your children, children forever. That word forever removed Geazi's family from being healed from leprosy. Today, they are lepers. And that's about 5,000 years ago. Jesus came. Jesus did not cure them because I asked, I said, why didn't you visit the house of Nema? I mean, Geazi. He said, didn't you hear that when Elisha spoke in anger, he said, may the family, may he, may he not be removed from leprosy forever. That war forever has removed any activity that will heal him. The Bible says, forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. As Elisha said in the mark, they stamp it with heavenly stamp. 
and it cannot be reversed. Apostles who came up in Israel are not the like. They couldn't heal uh, Gehazi. We have many priests like Maurice Cerullo that is a Jew. We have uh, Benny Hill that is a Jew. And many like that. With all the anointing they carry, none of them could heal the Gehazi from leprosy. Because of what Elisha said, may the leprosy of Naaman sting to you and your children forever. Only one man's leprosy is affecting many generations. It became a generational problem. Who want to pray this night? Like I said, it touches many things. The moment it comes upon one person, it goes down in history. Whatsoever is there in history, God will remove it that you are a victim of, that I'm victim of in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can we open our eye to the Lord and look back? Before you pray, I want you to look. I've touched many things. I've touched the sexual aspects. I've touched many, many areas. I touch covetousness that destroyed Gehazi. Gehazi was a potential prophet that would have taken up after Elisha. But Elisha went to grave with the anointing. When another generation of uh, Rob, uh, warriors were going and uh, they went to sack Ziglag, as uh, sack another land, the Bible said they dropped the bone, they dropped the dead corpse in the in the graveyard of Elisha. As soon as the dead body touched the bone, the decayed bone of Elisha, no prayer, the guy came back alive. Because anointed are supposed to be transferred, went down the ground with Elisha. And God told me, said, my son, I've kept that anointing for the last days, onslaught against the host of darkness in the revival that we all mark the end of the age we're going to pray lord whatsoever my parents have done that i by inference become a victim of lord deliver me from it baba deliver me and set me free anything that have made my glory not to be alive and active anything that has sense of my rising in life in business in career in opportunity lord in jesus name we we'll pray amen not quite long god was revealing to me some people in nigeria that their story would have changed considerably and i remember god mentioned taisho larry to me he said my son taisho larry carried the glory that is heavier than Obama, the former president of America. I said, what happened then? He said, do you see that he was popular in Nigeria? I said, yes. He said, the lady that I should arrest her with, he never knew that he's a, he's a daughter of one of the witches in Nigeria, one of the deadly witch in Nigeria. And the woman said, nobody should sleep with, with her daughter. Taishula Arinjo said, because he is, he is one of the young, brilliant guy in town, he went to the girl, he slept with the lady, and he didn't marry her. The mother went to the coven and destroyed the destiny of Taishula I said, even with the destruction of Taishula destiny, you see, he said, if you see what Taishula would have accomplished on the earth, you will know that that singular act of sexual relationship with the daughter of a witch he wrote everything away. We're going to pray tonight, Lord, set me free by your mercy. Amen. Lord, deliver me. You may have something flourishing, but that's not the fullness of flourishing. Many people walk under 20% glory, whereas you are supposed to be walking in 90, 95, 98 percent of the glory we want to pray this night lord set me free lord come and devastate the power of the enemy that has sent so my rising in the name of jesus many glory is the glory of many nations in the business in the finances in marriage have been affected by reason of my my success in my business in my family lord i decree in the mighty name of jesus that it Right now, in, in my walking with God, comes to an end, oh God, oh my God, set us free. Lord, deliver us with your blood. Lord, deliver us with your blood in the mighty name of 
Jesus. Lord, we ask for your Are we praying? Oh Let's call upon we God. Ask for your grace, this is the God. time the Lord we can ask be for your grace, Let the wicked forsake you will not fall, God, and your righteousness is not those, for you will abundantly pardon. That are working against your grace for our life, for our business, for our family, in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every form of evil that is working against the Christ for us, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. For those of us that are from the eastern part of Nigeria, as we were praying, I heard a voice like the angelic voice around me. And they were singing this song. I don't know the meaning. You will tell us the meaning, and we are going to sing it to praise God. Oh, your my mo aname kelege. Idebu beji yova ramashasta. Idebu beji yova rafashaman ewo. Hello, is your voice that we are hearing? You are with the modern in the language. Who understands Igbo language? Praise God. Hallelujah. Please, those who are evil among us, give us the meaning of that song and sing it for us so that people can learn it. Sister Grace Ama, are you not from the East? Sister Olubumi, every, they've muted everything. Kindly release them so that they can sing that song. I think God wants to say some things. Who is speaking? Can you tell us the meaning and then we will sing it together? Hello. 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 Sister Grace. Yes, she's speaking. Eh? Sister Grace is speaking. Sister Grace. Yes, can you tell us the meaning of that song and let everybody sing it alongside with you? Hello. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is another voice interfering from somewhere. Maybe somebody's TV set is on. Can't be off the set. Let me mute back. Sir. Is it okay now, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, I hope you've not muted Sister Grace now. Yes, I've muted her now. That means she cannot sing the song for us. Sister Grace. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can you tell us the meaning of that song? Thank you. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Grace, are you hearing us? Can you hear us? Are you hearing us? Is it? It's like she's speaking, but we are not hearing it really. Okay, okay, I think she's. Uh, I'm getting a message from Sister Ade Joy that Sister Grace is uh, probably in another Bible study online too. Ah, okay. okay, no problem. Let's go on with our own then, if she cannot give us the meaning. But the song is Idebube Jehovah Rama Shafai Oyomai. That's the song I had while I was we were praying. We want to tell the Lord, Lord, whatsoever has tampered with our foundation, just as you heal the land and water of Jericho, but by mm -hmm. heal the foundation of my life. Shall we pray? We're going to tell the Lord as He healed the water and the land of Jericho. He should heal the foundation of our destiny, the foundation of our spiritual life. The foundation of a professional calling or career, the foundation of our marriage, foundation of our finances. We're going to tell the Lord every area of our life that the Lord here is foundation shall we free. Every area of our life in the mighty name of Jesus, every area of our life, Lord, heal the foundation. Heal the foundation of God. Heal the foundation of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jesus in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. We are good to Amen. pray concerning our second job. That God Almighty we preserve the foundation in righteousness. That God will bring his angelic presence into our secular job secular work, I will begin to see increase, geometrical increase, on every front in the name of Jesus, shall we pray. If you don't know what is happening in Nigeria, a lot of ritual is going on in specific places in Nigeria. As God makes his prophet to be safe and knocking them off, we're going to pray, Lord, every covenant they've made over Nigeria with Prince of the Niger and the Prince of the Benue and other adjoining rivers in Nigeria. The Lord should nullify them by the blood of the Lamb. Shall we pray? Father, with the host of heaven by the Nigerian rulers 
Jalis Kapur de Shilia, Marekis de Punavashia, in the Borobo Shilia, in the Borobo Shilia, Lekeribo Sodi Morivash, Lekeribo Sodia, in the Borobo Shilia, in Jesus' name. Amen. So let in Jesus' name. One man of God now. He's aged, he should be in his 70s. He came to see me in Lagos here. He's based in Abuja. He was in the deep occultic world before his conversion. He told me in this place that he was the secretary to all the God and God of Nigeria in the time of independence. He mentioned Awuna War, Azikwe, all of them that they belong to that and they did a lot of rituals before our independence and that is what is following Nigeria today. He even said that when a lady sits on the seats and you are in that their court, if the lady stand up and you know that that lady was sitting on that seat, you must not sit on that seat. That it will be like you've had a fear with her. They will punish you in their kingdom. But one year that he came out, he said he slept with many women. But when he was in that court, he didn't burn him well to sleep with any woman. He would die. Instead of him, when he come to Christendom to be, to be very, very obedient to God, he saw many pastors sleeping with other women, so he too joined them. He told me many, many covenants they did and many rituals they did at different strategic points in Nigeria. We want to pray every generational covenant that is standing over Nigeria that make them to be shedding innocent blood. The Lord should wipe off that covenant by the blood of Jesus. Hey. We Father, the Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. if you are not in Nigeria, pray for Nigeria. We are here, we know what to do. You are not hearing all that is happening in Nigeria. For the name of God, in the name of Nigeria, covenant of prayer, to see to the end of all this. Every blood covenant to God that has been made in Nigeria has been in Jesus they will pray. We we need to pray for 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 people that are still shedding innocent blood in Nigeria. That if they don't stop, the Lord will use them as a sacrifice. For the rising of Nigeria. Amen. God has sent messages to them through his prophet. Anyone that is in that league, if they don't stop, God should sacrifice them for the rising of Nigeria. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, of heaven and the earth, and you will sacrifice innocent blood. Oh, God, and my Father. If they do not stop, oh, God, Father, let their blood be sacrificed. Let their own blood be sacrificed. Let them be sacrificed. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray and speak into the atmosphere. Lord, let the glory of Nigeria begin to speak. Amen. Lord, let the glory of Nigeria begin to speak. Let the glory of Nigeria from God begin to speak. Many things will be wiped off. Many things will be wiped off. Of a new Nigeria begin to speak. Begin to speak now in the name of Jesus. Let the glory of Nigeria begin to speak. Father, let the glory of Nigeria let it begin to speak. In the name of of Jesus, Father and my God, let the glory of Nigeria begin to rise. Let it begin to speak now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, my Father, let the glory of Nigeria begin to speak in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my King, let the glory of Nigeria begin to speak. Let it begin to speak. Let it begin to speak. Let it begin to speak. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 
finally you are going to speak to yourself. He said, if we have faith like that of Abbasi, we will tell seeker mind to be rooted out and planted in the sea. And so shall it be. We're going to speak for the glory. We are beginning to shine. My glory begin to pass. Begin to shine. Begin to speak in high places over the world. In the name of Jesus, my glory begins to rise. Shine. To begin to break expression all over the world. Shine. You, my glory, begin to rise. Begin to rise. Begin to shine. You, my glory. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. The glory of your ministry, you the glory, glory of your call, let them rise, rise and shine. Let, them begin let the glory of my calling begin to rise, rise and shine. In the name of Jesus, the glory of my life, of my calling, let it begin to rise and shine. Oh, my glory begin to rise and shine. In Jesus name In my glory pray. begin to rise and shine. In Jesus name, In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Father, I lift up your name. Your name that is absolutely holy. Amen. Holy, yes, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Mm. Heaven and Amen. earth is filled with your glory. Zana no. in the eyes. Hallelujah. Lord, you told yeah. me there are many instruments of worship wherever you bear sound. It yes. excel above the view. <laughs> Lord, I pray for the glory of your children. Let it begin to speak. All over Amen. The world. Amen. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. For those whose work is dwindling, I command the power of resurrection of Jesus to fall upon our works. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Those Amen. Who are Amen. Open, I pray, Lord, let God who created job for Adam and Eve be guarded before they were created. Open our new job for us now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the voice of lamentation and crying cease in our land. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Those Amen. who are looking for children, Amen. Lord, I pray, open their womb. In Amen. the name of Jesus. You say you make the poor to rise from the jungle yes, and to Lord. sit with the princes of the land. Yes. Lord, I pray, let your people take begin to take prominent position in the affairs of nations all over the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my Father, for hearing Thank you, Jesus. From today, let the testimony begin to emerge. Amen. To the grace and majesty of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let the people of God say, Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor, they say you can round up or you delegate the duty for what you like. Praise the 